What's up y'all out here at the range having some fun doing some testing got a bunch of jelly tests done today So y'all got some good stuff coming y'all's way to check out trying to get one more test squeezed in out here in this jelly It's got a lot of tracks in it But I think I got just enough clear space where I can get this one done as y'all can see got the contraption going got the chrono Got two blocks of gel. Like I say these blocks have taken a workout today, buddy What I think down towards the bottom We got just enough clear space down there where I can put one on the right one on the left and we can check it out from both sides but as y'all can see by the title, we're working on that standard versus plus P little mini series I've started here. And this time we're going with the HST. So we got nine millimeter HST standard and nine millimeter HST plus P, both of them in 124 grains. So I'm very curious to see what kind of difference we're going to see between these so far on the couple of tests I've done like this. There hadn't been a whole lot of difference to be honest with you. And arguably the standard pressure outperformed the plus P, but we're going to see what the old HST has to offer the tool we're running them out of today is the three inch barrel p365 this is my actual personal edc absolutely love this tool so we're going to test it out of that and see what we can get but this one sure enough got me very curious um i want to say that we're going to see a bigger difference out of the hst but maybe not because the standard hst is probably going to be loaded a little warm it's definitely some good stuff so we may not see that big of a difference but enough talking about it let's get everything set up and let's get it done all right, y'all, like we always do, let's get some speeds on these things and see what we got out here. I'm gonna do a three round average on each one of them. Um, start out with the standard pressure, HST 124s. Let's see what we got. Ten forty three. Ten sixty seven. And 1057. Let's go down there and check that average out. All right, the three round average on the standard pressure is 1,055 feet per second. So not too shabby out of this little three inch barrel. Let me get this reset and let's see what them plus P's have to offer. All right, y'all, let's see what these are doing. The plus P HST 124 grainers. I'm gonna do three rounds of these also. 1121. 11.09 and 11.20. So pretty consistent. Let's check that average out. All right, now we're talking here. Uh, the three round average on the plus P 124 grainers was 1116 feet per second. Um, for a three inch barrel with a 124 grain projectile, that's not too shabby at all right there. If y'all remember the standard pressure, it was 1,055. So you're talking about 61 feet per second faster out of the plus P. Decent little amount there for sure. So let me get this reset and y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, it's hot or not jelly time. I'm gonna start out with the standard pressure HST. Um, this is this is gonna be sketchy down here. It's very little free space, but uh, this is the last test of the day, so we'll figure it out, y'all. Here we go with the standard pressure. 1,100. All right, I think I might have went a little bit low. We might be all right though. Let me go down there and check that out. That's a little bit lower than I'm happy with, to be honest. It actually performed pretty well down there from what I can see, but I want to move it up just a little bit so I can make sure that bottom board is not having any effect on it. So I'm gonna try to go in the same spot, just higher. All right, that should be perfect right there. Let me go down there and make sure. All right, y'all, I'm very happy with that one for sure. Um, looking at that first one, it, it actually performed very nicely. I don't think the board had much to do with it, but never a bad thing to have extra jelly, extra uh, rounds down in the jelly. So here we go with the plus P. Let's see what this one will do. My guess is it's gonna be less penetration, more expansion, but let's see what happens, y'all. I'm gonna try to put this low and to the left over there. I think I might have went too far to the left. I think I heard it come out and smack a tree down there. But let me go down there and check it out. Yep, that one exited stage left down there, y'all. So let's move it up and to the right just a little bit from there. Here we go. All 
All right, I think that should have been a good one. Hopefully that stayed in because that's very good placement. Let's go down there and check out what we got. Well, as y'all probably saw, this one wanted to find out where that other one went to. It went chasing after it. So hopefully the third time's a charm here. I'm glad this is the last test of the day. Let's try to get it over to the right some more. All right, I think that one should be good. It went just to the right of where I hit that uh, second one at. So let's go down there and check these out. All right, y'all, let's take a look at what we got down here. Um, I brought y'all around to the other side. I think this is going to give you the best angle, but I'm going to move you around too so you make sure you get a clear view of everything. All the wound tracks are really nice. They're all separated, but they're just kind of hard to see at different angles. So um, what we're looking at here, down on the very bottom is kind of hard to see. That was the very first uh, shot I took with the standard pressure. It came in very nicely, nice wound channel, but it got really close to the bottom here, and I'm almost positive that disrupted it around and caused it to move and spin around and, and probably went a little bit further just a little bit than it, than it would have otherwise so but it still looks like it's opened up really nicely so still good performance out of that now the second one i took very nice there this that one right here completely separate of anything else and comes on down here and moves out here forward momentum stops at about right here and it had a pretty nasty rebound you see that sometimes in this gel but very nice penetration as far as the forward momentum now and of course in a real target you wouldn't be concerned about this rebound so the forward momentum is what matters in this now the plus p is that back there in the back on the other side you can see it really good from above and i'll show you that here in a second but very nice wound channel out of that very very nice expansion and penetration it actually poked into this second block just a little bit maybe an eighth of an inch into this second block so it actually got the furthest penetration especially if you don't even count this one right here but even if you do count this one it's the same penetration as that one so very nice expansion and very nice penetration out of this plus PHST now as far as the penetration on this the first standard round went to exactly 15 inches that was the standard pressure 15 inches the second one like i say poked into this second block actually right at a quarter of an inch so 16 and a quarter again i think it got a little bit extra because of that interference from the bottom board down there the standard pressure very nice out here 16 and a quarter uh you could actually call it 16 and three eighths of an inch penetration out of that plus p so that's an extremely nice performance this so far this is the best Best performance out of any of the plus p rounds i've tested you can see like i say this is that first one that hit the bottom down there not really hit it but definitely had some interference from the bottom down there and you can see how it poked into the second one and then the good one is right up above it there this thing can't decide what it wants to focus on but you can see very nice wound channel comes on through and stops right well for for momentum like i say you can see down there goes there and then rebounds back to there now the plus p round that's this one right here on the bottom what that you're looking at right here comes in very very nice wound channel as you can see carries that big fat wound area out all the way keeps on going keeps on going trucking 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 and boom pokes just into the second block you can see the little the little feathering down there and then rebounds right to the edge of it. But very nice uh, expansion and penetration on that. Another view from the other side, that's that plus P. Like I said, as you can see, the feathering coming into that second block like three eighths of an inch. So very, very nice performance out of all three of these rounds. All right, y'all, let's check out these projectiles. These two right here are the standard pressure. This is the one that was affected by the bottom board. And this was the clean shot right here. As you can see, there's really absolutely no difference in these. Both of them still expanded fantastic. Like I say, this one had time to do its thing before it even come close to that bottom board. But I wanted to take another shot anyway, just to be positive. So both of these look excellent as far as expansion wise. So I'll just use this one for our uh, measure measuring purposes so standard pressure here and then the plus p here now without a doubt the plus p expanded a little more and the, the best way to tell is look at it from the side and you can see how far those pedals peel down versus the standard pressure now there's not a whole lot of difference 
as far as the size of them really really close but the, the plus p definitely expanded a little more so let's get some measurements on them and see what we're looking at all right let's weigh them i don't expect any loss i don't see any material in the gel but let's see what we got for the standard pressure we're looking at 124.6 no loss on the standard on the plus p 124 0.4 so absolutely no loss on either one of these now as far as the size on them our standard pressure that's a big one there 0 0.628 0 0.626 and 0 0.614 so very very nice expansion on the standard pressure as far as the plus p we got 0 0.627 0 0.621 and 0.629 so very very nice expansion off of both of these rounds so there you go the hst standard pressure versus plus p very very nice performance out of both of these rounds um the these hsts are incredibly hard to beat for performance in any caliber that i've tested so far um I, i'll just go on and say it i'm putting it on out there i think hsts are the best nine millimeter defensive hollow point that money can buy uh y'all let me know what y'all thoughts are on that all right, y'all, that right there is going to wrap up a long day of jelly testing out here and talk about ending out with a bang. These were some excellent performing rounds right here. The Federal HST, um, like I said, again, I can't remember a bad test out of any of the HST calibers, bar none. I don't think I've had a bad test out of an HST yet. These 9 millimeters both performed absolutely fantastic. Now, what I will say is this is the first time that if you showed me these results, and asked me to pick this standard over this plus p and didn't tell me standard or plus p just showed me these and told me to pick it would be the plus p this is one of the first times that i've seen a little bit of appreciable performance boost out of the plus p you got more penetration than the standard you got more expansion than the standard and you got around close to 40 foot pounds more energy than the standard so it, it's a it's a no lose situation going with the plus p over the standard on this one i'm just very impressed with these hst rounds again um I, i'll just say it i think these are the best nine millimeter hollow point defensive rounds that money can buy but y'all let me know y'all's thoughts on it down in the comment below i've heard a lot of people praise hst HST. I don't think I've really heard anybody say anything bad about HST so far, but y'all let me know y'all's thoughts on it down below. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you reach down and hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon so you can get notified when I upload these new videos. Check out all my affiliate links down below, my Amazon storefront. If you shop through Amazon anyway, hit that link up first. It goes straight to Amazon like normal from there. Anything you buy anywhere on Amazon, we get a kickback from them towards the channel, so I really do appreciate that. Again, if you're looking for some nice ears, pro check out those actual affiliate links down below uh, i've been using these things for the last couple weeks i plan on doing a little review video on them here pretty soon so make sure you stay tuned for that if you're interested i appreciate all my range game members for reaching out and hitting that join button that really helps so i thank y'all for that huge thank you again to every single one of y'all who support the channel by watching by hitting the thumbs up subscribing to the channel and leave me them comments down below i really do enjoy reading what y'all have to say and what y'all's opinion on these tests are but like i say it's been a long day of testing out here the sun's working its way down uh, it's been beautiful weather out here, so I definitely made the most out of it. We'll be right back out here in a few days testing out some more new tools. Uh, I got some new stuff to have fun with out here in the rain, so a lot of good stuff coming y'all's way. Make sure you stay tuned for that. Stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.